Hi, my name is Matt Schmidt. I would provide my address here as I normally do at town meetings, but I've spoken at enough meetings that I think my address is just about common knowledge by now. I've been coming before the Enfield Board of Education for several months, trying in the three minute increments afforded me every two weeks with what I think are thought provoking speeches to provide a different perspective on what the school mask mandates are doing to children. I and others have spoken at length about the harms of masking children. The responses we've gotten have centered around the fact that this board and the administration are going to rely on chosen experts, and these experts think the only bad thing about masks is a little slight acne. Well, it just so happens that a couple of expert infectious disease specialists recently penned an op-ed in the Washington Post, arguing against the mandatory masking of children in schools. They make similar arguments to the ones I've been presenting for many months, but I want to focus on one specific aspect of their argument. It has recently become accepted that only, nine, only N95 masks are protective against the current variant. And since N95 masks are known to be protective for the wearer, the popular mantra, my mask protects you and your mask protects me, is no longer necessary. What this means is that those who are or feel vulnerable can wear an N95 mask to protect themselves, and anyone else can go freely without a mask. While the argument in the op-ed about this one-way masking was applied towards school mask mandates specifically, the same argument holds true for all mask mandates. This last point is relevant to what has transpired at the most recent Board of Ed meetings. The last Board of Ed meeting here in Enfield was shut down because, we were told, those of us without masks made it unsafe for others. We were offered surgical masks and declined, so a decision was made to pull the plug on the proceedings altogether. Again, this was supposedly done in the name of safety and health. But wouldn't it have been a far safer thing to offer N95 masks to those who felt vulnerable? If it was really about safety, wouldn't that be the safest thing to do, to protect them? And I would argue that it would have been far less expensive than stationing a police officer in the hallway offer, offering surgical masks to those of us who do not wish to use them. Or like the meeting before, stationing four or five police officers at the doors to prevent some of us from entering the chambers entirely. The Board of Education Chair listed the options she saw as viable as to what to do about those of us sitting there unmasked the last meeting. Yet none of the options she listed included offering protective N95 masks to those who felt in danger. So then it's not about safety, is it? For those who may argue that maybe the chair or the town manager or whoever seems to be in charge may not have thought about the N95 option, what does that say about where we are? And the first course of action is to shut down public participation and try and affix blame to a group of residents that merely come to speak and have shown their willingness to bring important topics to the board's attention. It is hard to have confidence in such a board. Now the next Board of Education meeting is said to be virtual again because, well, I'll let them come up with the excuse. But before that, the town council meets. If the mask issue is about safety, we should expect the council and town manager to be offering N95 masks to those who feel they need it, while leaving the rest of us unencumbered by a questionable mandate, so that those of us unmasked may participate with the same rights as any other resident of Enfield. Any deviation from that is clearly punitive at this point. So instead of using the mask mandates to deny people a voice or to make political gains, we should instead take hold of this opportunity of one-way masking to eliminate some of the divide that we have experienced these last few years. The N95 mask satisfies the safety concerns of those who feel vulnerable, and its benefit for the wearer, while not impinging on the rights of others, seems to finally be the off-ramp we have been all looking for in this two-year mask fiasco. It is only prudent that our town leaders take it. Thank you.